in this question we have given voltage in the form of equation and current also in the form of equation then they said identify the elements element means whether it is the combination of R L or R C or L or C or R means which load we are using we have to determine that calculate their values means we have to calculate their values and calculate the power and the power factor okay so first of all we should know the voltage voltage is how much given that is 100 <coughs> voltage is 100 sin of 3140 plus 30 degree and current is 20 sine of 3140 plus 60 degree now we have to compare this equation with the standard equation can you tell me what is the standard equation v is equal to v max sine omega t plus phi so if we'll compare can you tell me what would be the value of V max? 100. What would be the value of omega? 314. And what would be the value of phi? 30 degree. Similarly, can we get the value of I max? I max is how much? 20 ampere. And phi is omega is same, right? And phi in the case of current is how much? 60 degrees. 60 degree. Okay. So can we draw the phasor diagram for the voltage and current? If we'll draw the phasor diagram, can you tell me which is leading? Voltage is leading or current is leading? Like voltage angle is 30 degree, right? So like this is 0 degree. Okay. And the angle of voltage is 30 degree. So we can write down this is for voltage and the angle for current is how much 60 degree we can assume that 60 degree is approximately here and this is the angle for the current so what is the phi basically in this case first you have to tell me which is leading current is leading or voltage is leading current is leading right so if current is leading this is which case in which case current will lead the voltage in capacitor or in inductor remember I told you the word civil here C stands for tell me capacitor in case of this C stands for capacitor as you can see in capacitor current is leading the voltage right and here L stands for inductor so here V is first so in case of inductor voltage is leading current so this is the method of remembering that in which case which uh, current is leading or current is lagging so you have to remember in the case of capacitor current is leading the voltage by this word okay so from this we can see that current is leading the voltage right so this is the case of tell me rl or rc r current is leading in which case in inductor or capacitor no current is leading in current is leading voltage in the case of capacitor okay so this this is which case RL or RC RC because in the case of capacitor current is leading okay identify the element our first part done that this one is the RC why I said R also because if there is a pure capacitor pure capacitor means only capacitor is there then in that case phase angle is fixed that is 90 degree and if there is a pure inductor pure inductor means tell me only inductor in that case phase angle is only 90 degree okay now as you can see that angle between current and voltage is how much can you tell me 
angle between current and voltage is how much? 30 degree. So, is this the case of pure capacitor? Yes or no? No. So, that means ki it is the combination of R and C. Clear up to here? Now, calculate their values means we have to calculate their values. As you know that Z is equal to R minus JXC. Yes or no? Remember we have done rectangular and polar form? Hmm? Yes. Z is how much? That is V by I. Yes. Z is how much? V by I. V is how much? Can you tell me from the equation? What is the value of VRMS? Because I told you for solving we always need VRMS. So VRMS is how much? 100 by root 2. Similarly, IRMS is how much? 20 by root 2. So, from this, can we get the value of Z? Yes. So, that is 100 by root 2 divided by 20 by root 2. That is R minus JXC. We don't know the value of R and we don't know the value of XC as well root 2 root 2 cancel and this would be 5 is equal to r minus j x c ok first of all tell me any doubt up to here hmm? ok so we got the phasor value also phasor value is how much cos phi is equal to what is the formula for the power factor tell me power factor is equal to cos phi and yeah that is r by z r is how much we don't know z we know but z is how much z we just calculated 5 cos phi angle is how much i told you phi is the angle between phi is always the angle between voltage and current and the angle between voltage and current is how much 30 degree so it is how much cos 30 so from here can we get the value of r hmm? cos 30 is how much yeah so if we solve it we'll get the r is equal to 4.33 ohm okay first of all tell me any doubt up to here Hmm? Okay. Similarly, we are having sin phi also. Can you tell me what is the formula for the sin phi? Draw impedance triangle. This is R. This is Z. This is XC. So, sin phi is how much? XC over. So, sin 30 we know. Z we know. Can we get the value of XC? Yes. XC value after solving it will get that is 2.5. Okay. F you know the formula of XC that is 1 by omega C. Omega is how much? That is mentioned in the question. 314. So, can we get the value of C from here? That is 1 by 314 multiplied by 2.5. After solving it, we will get 127 microfarad. Okay? This one, this one part also done. Calculate their values. We got the values of C and we got the value of R as well. Right? Now, the next part, calculate the power. Can you tell me what is the formula for the power? Vi. Vi cos theta, cos phi. Okay. V we already know. Right. 100 by root 2. Current also we already know. 20 by root 2. Cos phi we already calculated. That was 0 0.866. From this we will get the value of power. Okay. In the next part. We have to calculate power factor. Power factor we already calculated. That is cos phi cos of 30 degree. 